Hi and welcome back to the Ultimate App Maker. In this training video, I want to talk about how to design an app. So what you're going to do is when you're in your app dashboard here, right now we're using a blank template, you're going to want to click on Edit Pages. So if you click on Edit Pages here, you're going to see all the different pages that come up in your template. Now this is going to work for if you chose a different template than this one or specifically for this blank template. But what we're going to do first is we're going to edit this tab one. This is going to be the home page. We want to put some text and some images on there. So let's click on edit. Okay, and you can see here now that this is a basic HTML page. Okay, which means it's nothing. It's a blank HTML. If we know HTML, we can customize it with our own code, or we can use the drag and drop editor, uh, or we can actually use this toolbox. The what you see is what you get editor here to the left. And this is what we're going to focus on in this training video. So there's three sections that you're going to look for when you start designing your app. There's going to be layout. When you click on layout at the top of the phone, it's going to unlock this layout element section. You're going to be able to control it with divs. What divs are, they basically create sections. So if we click on div, you can see this now new section is created. If you want to delete it, let's say you made a mistake, just double click on it. And then right to the left, you can delete it. Okay, the great thing about divs is you can have sections inside your, your app which uh, or on your page and each section is going to be controlled a little bit differently in this div which is going to be an HTML. What we're going to do is we're going to design this based on the design. Okay, so if you know divs and you know layouts, you can go with, mess around with that. If you know HTML, you can click here as well and just type your code in. Uh, for us, we're just going to go with design. So let's get started here. Click on design and click on the top of your app and uh, just start typing. Okay, now what we're going to do, we want to actually center this. So if we highlight all this text, we can now go here and align. Okay, align center, align left. And if you scroll over these, they'd actually tell you which exactly each one of these buttons does. And actually, let's bold this as well. Okay, and you can see now it's align center, align bold. All right, let's actually change this color since the background is gray. So if we highlight that again, uh, what is the color here? Right here, this A is the text color. And we can either insert our color code if you know your HTML color code. Uh, for us we don't have one so I'm just going to click on this block, this blue block here. And there we go, we got our blue text. Alright, next thing I want to do is insert an image. Okay, and let's actually make this a bit bigger here as well. So if we go to here for font name, we can actually change the font. I'm going to do uh, Arial, okay, and font size, I'm going to go with size 5, okay. So now how do we insert an image? Inserting an image is really easy, so I'm just going to enter down, create some space. On the left hand side here, you can see there's a bunch of different boxes. This one here is for inserting an image. This one here is for Google Maps, there's one for YouTube, one for PayPal, if you have any music, you can insert MP3 links, uh, insert a mail to link, you tons of different options here. For us, like I said, we're going to do image, so I'm going to click on this. And it's going to open up our in-app resources. So this is a resource center for all the different files inside the app currently. Different icons, different, uh, different images, different HTML files specific to this template. So if you use a different template, you're going to have different files in here. What we're going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to grab this image. I just grabbed a random image from the internet and you can see my dimensions are 700 by 299. All right, so I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to drag it right in here. And that's it. Click on choose and that's how you insert an image. So you can see here my dimension again, 700. I don't know if you can see that here. Um, 700 by 299, which means it's lo longer than it is going to be tall. So if we change that image sizing up a little bit, we can do it in paint. It's going to actually change the, how it looks on here. Uh, I think the default size for the width of this app is 320 pixels. So if you want to just base it on that, you know, if you would we would have done 320 pixels by like 500, it would be a longer, longer photo. All right, but I'm going to leave it that, with that. That's how to insert an image. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to insert a button. Okay, so. Sometimes this little, um, I don't know what this is called, but it gets lost, this little cursor. So what I like to do is I like to play with my arrows, and I'm just going to click down as much as I can, and you can see now it's here. It's flashing right here. 
Okay, that means at the end of the image, I'm going to hit enter. Otherwise, we hit enter before this image is moved down. So I want to go to the end of the image, move down. Okay, now let's enter a button. So again, with buttons, it's an image as well. So I'm going to click on this insert image as well. And go back to my file, and I already got a button here made. If you don't have any buttons, you don't know how to make a button, all I, all I simply did was I went to the button factory. Okay, it's a free button maker. Okay, you can just simply make your own here. And it's as simple as that. Put your text, change your colors, and that's your button. So I just made a simple button like that. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop it right in here. I'm going to choose. So there we go. We've got our button. It's obviously pretty big. So what I would do is I'd probably reduce the size a little bit through there. But, you know, this is first step, getting the button on there to see how it's going to look. So what I want to do now is I'm going to link this button to a different page inside the app. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this button, click and drag it, and then right here there is link selection. So click on link selection and you get an option here. We can link it to a different tab here. If Once you get more pages, you'll be able to choose which page you want it to link it to. So let's say we want to do tab two, or we can link it to an external website. Okay, so we could actually go ultimateappmaker.com and link it to the website, or we could do in-browser link. So this is for iPhone only, and what this does is it opens up an external website, sorry, external search engine. So it would open Safari up, and you would open your website there. Just leaving your app, but your app still open. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on here, I'm going to go to tab 2, I'm going to click on insert, and there we go. So make sure you're saving along the way, so I'm going to hit save, and that's how you start designing this app. It's really easy to do, you can, a lot of ton of features here as well, so, you know, if you can add different photos, you can actually combine this with templates we have available as well, so you can start inserting your text, inserting your images, and I'm going to cover that in a separate video later on here as well. Uh, if you look at this HTML code here, you can see this is all the code that we've just created. So again, if you know HTML code, you can go in here and fix it up. If you know CSS, you can click on Edit CSS here at the top as well. But it's very easy to design these apps. Hope you guys really enjoyed this training. Have fun designing your app. If you have any questions, hit us up and support.